invest in WordPress by investing in yourself. So I don't know if any of you saw the opening remarks where Kathy said, hey, go find Rich if you're interested in contributing back to the community. Here's a big push because the WordPress project, and it is a project, is made up of you, 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 me, all the people out there, the core developers that live all around the world, the, the different teams that help out with all the different, with, with accessibility and documentation. The project is made of us, okay? So we have to invest in WordPress to continue to make it grow. But one of the things I'm seeing is that, and, and I'm seeing this, a lot of you might not be on Twitter, but I'm on Twitter, I'm in a lot of circles, a lot of people, and I see people struggling, and they're not realizing they're struggling, and they're hurting. Now, I've been in the corporate world for 20 years. I recognize it. I feel it. I'm going through it myself. I suffer from depression. I hate the job. Okay. You didn't work, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I know. There we go. I don't have to hate it much longer. Bye, <laughs> 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 <Find> Mike. <laughs> So for those, yeah, for those of you that deal with design, you're front-end developer, you're, you're a designer, and you know, trying to get that one pixel in the perfect spot. That's stressful. And you could spend hours trying to get little, the one box, anything, to move to right where you want it. And you'll never get it. And you know, the wonders of CSS, this is an old one, you know, CSS. We don't use CSS anymore, but ultimately it's all still fundamental design that go into making a website. So, you know, if you do any kind of content creation, if you do any kind of, whether it's blogging, you're a food blogger, or you run an agency that is based on content creation, you're in marketing, and you're sitting there pounding the coffee, Trying to get those few more words, get the perfect words out there. You're so close. Same thing, that pixel, that ever elusive pixel for the designer, same thing. You sit there and you struggle and you struggle to get those last few words out so you can press publish. So you're a lead developer at a small agency and you've got a couple of junior developers that you're really trying to build up their skill sets so you're trying to figure out, okay, who should I give that project to? So you're the lead dev, and you ask your two developers, okay, who do you, who, who wants it? Well, you know, so as a lead developer, that's stress, this, this gets old, and you end up doing it yourself, because they couldn't decide, you don't, well, you're not sure if their skill sets are there, so it's hard. Say you own your own shop, freelancer by yourself, you're a project manager, you're dealing with, are there any clients in here? Anybody that, that, that's here, here's your, from the client perspective? Good. So those damn <laughs> clients, <laughs> so those clients, you're trying to get them to understand exactly why you should be doing something, and no matter how hard you try. Remember to angle it. <laughs> Will you come up here, host? <laughs> no, there's not room enough up here for you and I at the same stage. <laughs> it's hard. It's stress. It's not, you know, all of these things. All of these things lead to the same dilemma. You know, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you are in the WordPress community. And this is just your day job. This is just the stuff you're doing during the day to make a living. Whether you're panicking, freaking out, falling asleep, whatever it is, it's still the same struggle. And we're all in that struggle. And honestly, it's not WordPress specific. It's not tech specific. It's life. And work's got harder over the years. As, as companies have shrunk and you have to do more with less time, so it's not just WordPress, but especially this community. Oh, this one's not good. This slide, I don't know, and I know it doesn't make you out well. I'm good friends with Corey Miller. He owns iThemes, and he's one, he's one of my motivations to speak about mental health. And he does a great job talking about mental health. Corey Miller and Chris Lemmer are two of my biggest 
I, I hero worship them, they're my idols, because they talk about stuff like this that nobody else is talking about. So this slide is something that he presented at Pressnomics a couple weeks ago, a business-based uh, conference in Phoenix. And Corey's gone through a lot of mental, mental health issues. He struggled, it has not been easy. He and, I, he and I have talked. It's been a challenge, it's taken a long time for him to get to a good place. And what this is, is this is an iceberg. Now, mm. you might follow this person on Twitter, or you might know this person, you see them in the meetup. Whatever it is, normally what this slide is saying is, the iceberg of their, of their career, their life, all you see is the top of the iceberg, what's above water. That's all you end up seeing is what's above it. And it usually looks like sunshine and success. Everything's awesome. What you're not seeing is the 90% of the iceberg that's below the water. So you take all those little scenarios I was painting for you before, no matter what your role is in the community, we all have this iceberg. Struggle and suffering, insecurity, fear, doubt, hurt, suffering, pain, depression. Those are all the words Corey Miller published. How many get So that's the reality of life, isn't it? I mean, what, what job have you ever had that you didn't have some of these things, all right? So life is hard, work is hard, and we get through it. In the WordPress community, we, okay, well, let me first of all put my disclaimer here. Why does this matter? Well, first of all, I am just like you. I'm not a trained mental health professional, although I'm looking to get some training, and we'll talk about that at the end, all right? But we are, everybody at this WordCamp is the same, we're all equal. Nobody's better than anybody else. Nobody is better than anybody else. And while one person might know more than the other, we're here to learn and share. So what makes WordPress challenging, oh, sorry, since I don't have my notes, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. So I've got a couple of quotes that I wanna get into before I talk about why WordPress makes it even harder. I'm sorry, when you can't see your slides. World Health Organization defines health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So that means health isn't just simply that my nose isn't running. It's that you feel good, which doesn't mean you're not sick, you're healthy. Webster's defines wellness as the quality or state of being in good health, especially as an actively sought goal. Here's where we're crossing the line. Actively sought goal. You have to want to be well. And that's something that we struggle at in this community. I'll explain why. There's eight dimensions of wellness. So much my notes. Oh, look at these favorite. Spiritual is, and it's not religious spiritual, it's understanding our sense of meaning in life. And, and where we are from a big picture. There's occupational, personal satisfaction and enrichment derived from one's work, liking your job. There's physical, physical activity, diet, sleep, nutrition. I know a lot of people in this room, especially this weekend, haven't been achieving that. Intellectual, recognizing your abilities and finding ways to expand them them to cultivate them. Environmental, being in a situation, whether it's home or your neighborhood, or even your workplace, that feels comfortable and supports your well-being. Emotional, coping effectively with life, how you deal with the challenges of day to day. And then finally, the big one that you always hear about, financial being satisfied with your current situation financially or where you're headed. We all struggle with that. We all need more money or want more money. But all of these things, all of these pieces of the pie, this is what makes up wellness. And you have to actively seek these things out. So spiritual, intellectual, physical, occupational, environmental, social, financial, and emotional. How many people in here would say they've, they would put a check mark if they had to say that they were, that they've achieved wellness in all eight? I think that I was gonna say. <laughs> How about seven? No, no takers. Six. 
same time or just in general? <laughs> you could have four on one day, two on the other. Let's make it semantics. Yeah, six. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. First one. Five. Okay, good. I like mine. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. I want to see. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. It's alarming, but it's reality of wellness human creature. This is who we are. And we struggle. We got I'm so happy you have six. I envy you. I quit my job in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, and I just quit mine, so oh wait, I got three. <laughs> What makes this hard for WordPress is, I don't know how many of you know who that guy is. It's that Matt Mullenweg guy that created WordPress. And, you know, he's, he's, he is WordPress from a leadership point of view. Well, Matt Mullenweg at WordCamp Europe in 2014 challenged the WordPress community. This is how this all ties in. Challenged the community to give back more to WordPress. We call it Five for the Future. And it was more aimed at agencies, but from what I could, I could tell, my personal opinion is it translated down to the individual. You should give 5% of your time back to the project. It doesn't mean you're getting paid for it. For an agency, you might pay a lead developer you know, 40 hours a week, while 5% of his time should be contributing back to WordPress, and it's not like you could build WordPress. You can't build the foundation. So five for the future, so a company like 10 up, 120 people, that would be the equivalent of saying seven of their people should work full time just on the project. And Drew James was one of the past release leads for 4.2 of WordPress, and he was a huge person in, in, in upper echelons getting WordPress to be better. He just quit 10 up because he couldn't take contributing 100%. He wanted to go back to being a, a developer. He was going back to work with Pippin, Williamson, who, uh, what's this company called? Easy Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, he, he runs a great little company, and he's such a great influence in the community. In fact, Pippin and Corey Miller had a podcast this week talking to Carrie Dills. I know I'm throwing all these names out, and I'll try to incorporate, like, I forgot to even incorporate that into my slides, which I will eventually publish when I can fix things. But the podcast this past week, Corey and Pittman were talking about mental health and wellness. And it's hard. So somebody like Drew left 10 up as 100% contributor to the project because he, he burned out so many times last year. It's hard. So this project is hard and Matt Mullenweg, for good reasons, is pushing all of us to get back more. So for those of you, when I asked before the camera started, is this your first work camp, you're new to WordPress, you might not feel that because you, you're not in that mode, but you heard in my pitch earlier that if you wanted to give back more to the community, come see me. We need to give back more to the project, but we're, we're not stopping and thinking along the way. What's the impact of it? And I see from my role in the community where I'm very active on Twitter, and, and somebody told me I spent an amount of, amazing amount of time reading tweets on Twitter, but I'm watching, and part, part of my role is as, as what I consider a caretaker for you guys, is that, that some of these people are expressing, I had, it's 8 p.m., I didn't eat breakfast yet. Crap, I better eat. It happens a lot more. And if you're not active in social media and you're not part of, the, part of that whole section of WordPress, you're not seeing it, but trust me, you're probably doing the same thing. You're probably having the same issues. And you're not like me. This is my 5%. I paid for my own airfare. I spent the whole weekend here away from my wife who's homesick. Um, because I love giving back to the community. This is my fuck well, probably more like 10%, although now that I'm not going to have a job, it's 100%. So, hey, yes. I yelled all the goals. So, giving back to the project, we need to. This was, this is out on the table out there. There's a little chart that talks about all the different teams in WordPress. There's support, documentation, training, community, speak and share, video, themes, plugins, Meta, core, accessibility, and polyglots. And I'm not here to tell you what all of them are, because 
you can go to makewordpress.org and see, or you can grab the little flyers. But what it is is we as a community, the organizers of this WordCamp, the organizers of every WordCamp, at every meetup, we're all doing this because we love WordPress and we want it to grow. 26% of the web, that's huge. To get to 27 takes a lot of work, to 28. So it needs this effort from all of you, but at the same time, I'm begging all of you, please stop for a moment. Even if you're not giving back to the project with anything extra, you know, giving back comes at a price. Invest in yourself a little bit. <coughs> Before you spend too much time giving back to the community, make sure you're giving back to yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. And sometimes that I give back to myself actually by coming to these events because I love my WordPress family. That I love, and I love seeing some of the same faces. You know, that's a great part of it. I have friends, but even the people I don't know that have just come up to me and just started talking to me, and that, and I'm shy and I have imposter syndrome, so I don't go up to a lot of people. But these interactions, I thrive on this. I love this. So this is actually for my wellness. My wellness is going to be great at least until I go back to work. Or I guess I don't have that issue. Anymore. <laughs> but why I'm here talking about this is now here's the part that I makes me. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Kim Parcell. If you haven't, Google WP Mom Kim Parcell, P A R S E L L. This is my friend Kim. She died a year and a half ago now. She was WP Mom. She was really one of the only people that spent a good chunk of her day. Reminding people, hey, you didn't eat breakfast yet, did you? No, you know, I have to start getting on Miko over there, our keynote, because she was saying the other day how, you know, she didn't eat the other night, she didn't feel good. Kim would have done that. Kim, as WP mom, would have made sure. And I miss Kim, because Kim was such a good influence on all of us and, and reminded all of us in the community. And she went to a lot of work camps. She, she, Whenever she could, she was a hugger. Kim was this tiny little thing. She came up to me and she wrapped her arms around me and was looking like, oh, hi, Kim. And it, it was great. Kim, Kim was awesome at spreading the love for the community. That's my inspiration. Come around here and spread the love. I miss Kim. I miss her impact in the community. For those of you that did know her, and this is why when I gave this talk to work camp, you guys, there were a lot of people there that know her personally. I had a little pride. And I, I don't love that here. but. What I'm trying to say, and my personal opinion is Kim might not have died if she would have taken better care of herself because she was so busy trying to help everybody else. And that's why, like, I'm going to go home from this and I'm going to go home and rest because I'm exhausted because I'm trying to do all this. It's hard. And, you know, I try to coach. You know, my, my buddies that are speaking and I try to make sure their, their talk is the best possible talk because it's valuable. But it takes so much out. And I don't want to be like Kim. But I want to be like him. I want to make sure that I, my message going out there is to step back and invest in yourself. Make sure you eat. Make sure you sleep. Step away from the computer. Step away from the screen. Go for a walk. You know, go call a friend. Do something. And then think of somebody you know that might be having issues and might be depressed. Reach out to them and make sure they're okay. But only after you're, you know. Invest in yourself first because if you're not okay, you can't do anything for anybody else. It's kind of like when you're in an airplane and they say if the thing drops, put it on yourself before you put it on your kid. It's the same kind of thing. I mean, you're no good if you're not okay. But take care of others after you take care of yourself. But don't forget to take care of others because this investing in yourself as part of the workers community. And yes, all of you are part of this community. We might not be friends on Twitter. You might not be a core developer. Just we're all the same. We're all equal. We're all here for one reason: to use and benefit from WordPress, to grow, to have successful careers, for wellness, to to get eight out of eight. Maybe you're close. You got you got you to work on it. But to, to achieve that state of wellness, and will it ever happen? No, I'm not, I'm not foolish enough to think that anybody could ever get eight of eight. Is it idealistic? It's a dream. I'm a two, maybe three. I I'd love to hit more than that. And that's my own doing, and I know that. And this is my therapy. This helps me deal with my depression and my imposter syndrome and my fears. And 
because I love all of you guys. No matter whether I know you or not, it's not about because you're here as part of this community, and if you're here as part of this community, you care. So please care for yourself, care for some other people, keep caring for WordPress. We need you to give more to WordPress. Yes, yes, you're, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear requests grow, never, never gonna grow over. You know, please help. If you can help and give back to WordPress, please do. Don't forget to look in the mirror, take care of yourself. If you have to step away from WordPress for five minutes, let's do it. Walk away. Come back and give more. It, it, it's, I know it sounds like I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth, but it's the only way WordPress will become even better. And if you're in this room, if you're at this conference, in some way WordPress has made your life better, then let's keep that growth going. So remember, be like Kim every day. Take a, do, take a few minutes to do what WP Mom would have reminded you to do for yourself. Eat, walk, sleep. Take a few minutes to do it for somebody else. If you're on Twitter, tweet about it with Kim's hashtag. Hashtag WP Mom. I said that at WordCamp US in December, and it lasted for about a month, and then it fell off, and I'm too depressed to do it. I can't take care of everybody all the time. And I have friends that will occasionally do it, and I'm just one person talking to 35 people. I don't expect you to change the world. But if you make little efforts, and, and what, why I'm saying tweet, if you're on Twitter, and I know a lot of you probably aren't, but if you are, if somebody else sees that, that I follow the hashtag. So I'll see, if there's a tweet in the world, WP Mom hashtag, I will see it. I will, odds are at least, I will fave it or like it if only now. So just make a little effort to take care of your fellow man, especially WordPress, your fellow WordPresser. So be like him every day, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. If you need help, there are resources. As I go down these rabbit holes of trying to prepare for these talks, as I talk to Corey Miller, as I just talk to anybody, I, I'm going to cry here. I, I, had, I had a situation a couple weeks ago where I was in a meeting with a group of people. These are people I know pretty well. And they know who I am. They know I'm Coach Rich. I, you know, hey, if you want to talk, you can talk to Rich. So one of them admitted to me, and I had suspicions that he had tried to commit suicide a couple months before. And I'm like, dude, you, I asked you. I asked you one thing. Are you going to try to kill yourself tonight? And he said, no. And why'd you lie? Because I would have come over. He got through it. He went to the hospital. He saved himself. He was by himself. He was upset about a relationship ending. And so he feels very alone. And he keeps deflecting help. I did the same thing. You know, I was talking to Scott about that earlier. I deflect help. I'm not good at taking help. I'm not good at asking for it. And then I think about my buddy. And then at that same meeting, this was a WordPress meetup. So this was my family. This is part of this crew. 100,000, a million strong, whatever it is in the world. And another person had admitted to me, and she came into the meeting, her head was shaved. And she's like, do you like my new do? And I had just seen her a couple days before, so it was it was fresh. She's kind of a goof, kind of a freaky one. I'm not surprised that she would shave her head, but she just got diagnosed with breast cancer that day. And that was her reaction. And she came up to me and she, she goes, I did this because I know it's going to happen. I'm going to have to lose my hair eventually. Do you think anybody could tell I have cancer? That was a WordPress meetup. Oh my God. It's hard to take care of others, but you know how hard it had to be for these two people to reach out? And I'm not saying we're going to have a thing where we're all going to you know, be mentally perfect and everything. I'm just trying to tell you to recognize what's around you. And if you can help yourself and help others, please do. And there are resources out there. I'm going, I'm actually trying to find a class, and, I, and I'll post this. Mentalhealthfirstaid.org. It's actually mental health first aid training. You know, first aid, CPR, whatever it is, so you know how to react in a crisis for a physical ailment. Well, mental health crisis training is just that. So I had a friend of mine tell me he was going to commit suicide. I actually am not going to just wing it. And it kind of know instead of you know yelling like dude what the heck why'd you do that no i'll have a little bit better response although that's the human response so mentalhealthfirstaid.org and i found out about this by a gentleman named ed finkler 
Punk Rock, if you know who it is. And he started something called Open Source Mental Health. Help.org. O-S-M-I dot O-S-M-I help.org. Yes, I will I will post all this, so don't worry about it. But and in case you didn't know, WordPress is open source. It's an open source community. So Ed is a PHP developer and he struggles with depression. I've watched a few of his talks with dying to meet him. He struggles with depression. It's horrible. He's had so many issues his whole life. I mean, this goes back to childhood, and he's talking openly about it, and he's pushing the message out there, not the way I'm doing it. He's doing his own thing. He's doing an amazing job, and he's talking about this, in the, and open source is right for mental health issues and wellness issues. WordPress, I mean, because we all just give, give to the projects. It doesn't have to be WordPress. If you're a developer, there's something called devpressed.com. D E V P R E S S E D, devpressed.com. It's an online support forum for developers. Developer depressed, devpressed. I've looked at it, I've not logged into it, but from what I've heard, it's amazing. And it's a place for people to share their pain and their experiences, try to help each other. And then there's mhprompt.org, mentalhealthprompt.org. These are tech based companies or, or efforts. So they're trying to help people in the tech community. And yes, you could be a blogger, but if you're here, if you're part of the tech community, you know, you could be just into marketing and, and brand identity. You're still part of the tech community because you're part of using technology. So don't, please don't let yourself feel like you don't belong. You do. These are just a few of the resources. I have a list that I couldn't put it all on the slide. And before I post this, or in addition, I will try to share it, whether it goes on the uh, WordPress, the WordCamp website, or if I just tweet it out, um, I have to put it on my blog. Um, I also started a website that, because I've been so bummed lately, I haven't done anything with it. It's called WP Ambassador. I want to be the ambassador to the WP community. I've only written two posts, so I haven't done much with it, and just because I, my imposter syndrome told me I'm not worth preaching, but I'm doing this right here. But, if you have any ideas for things you want to see me write about, that website, I don't make any money off it, it's just me wanting to do it for the community. It's to embrace wellness and camaraderie in the community. You're gonna leave here, you're gonna have met some people. And then you're gonna go home and go back to your regular routines and like, yeah, I wish I would've gotten that person's number or talk. It's an online community, a lot of us work from home, we never see anybody, so this is a great chance to be social. My, my intent with that, and whether I do it or somebody else does it or you do it, try to find a way to reach out to others here. It doesn't mean you can all exchange business cards, but don't leave here and, and be isolated and you know be by yourself because that's not healthy. I say that firsthand because I by myself a lot, and this is not about my, my personal life. You know, I'm married, my wife, I mean, no, it's not that she, she watches me suffer. So I know it firsthand though because in my own own demons, I'm depressed, and I'm by myself, and I isolate myself, and some of you that know me know you've seen me sitting in corners, but I just, it's hard, this is hard, this is life, it's not just WordPress, but I'm telling you that you have a community around you that will help you, and will help the project, and we'll all be better for it. I could ramble on for another hour, but that's what I wanted to say. So it's not really Q and A, but like, does anybody have any thoughts on like whether it's some of those little websites or mental health? I mean, I don't want I don't want to turn this into a, a crisis session where people. Hmm? Okay. There you go. Yes, Mika. It's okay to be on medication for your problems. It's, it's a huge shame in it, and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. And that's something I'm coming to terms with, and I'm trying to make the appointment to see somebody to help me. I've been, I've been on medication before, and I hated the way it made me feel, but I know that was also 15 years ago, and it, you know, it's, it's different now, it's it, better. It's a trial and error. Yeah. I have been, I, I've got my whole, uh, I have seasonal affective disorder, among other things, and I've been medicated now for, oh God, five years, and it helped me get out of the, it helped me get to, to six. 
Yeah. Because without taking care of myself, but if listen to your family members when they tell you you might want to talk to someone about getting help. They they do love you. Yeah, I think this is like an important conversation because like our profession, I don't think we realize how much it attracts depression. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that sometimes we face up and down incomes. The isolation. We struggle, you know, like the isolation and like sometimes when you get out in a big event, you're just like, it feels overwhelming to you. You just want to go back to your computer. So I think we have to be just super hyper aware. So I'm glad you gave this talk. And there, I'll find more of those. I, I have a, I have an app on my iPhone that I don't remember what it's called. I'm not supposed to pull out your phone, but I'll just do this. Um, it's called Air, and it's supposed. To, I haven't signed up for it because once again, I don't believe I'm worthy of you know belonging in this hike. I'll I'm, be the first one to tell you you are damn well worthy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in this room is worthy. Yeah. Everybody in this room is worthy. So. The uh, imposter syndrome. I've given talks on imposter syndrome. I have imposter syndrome. I don't think I'm worthy. I think I'm a fraud. So that's a but whole you separate trust talk. Me, don't you? Yes. You are worthy. So, and once again, I'm showing you a small screen, <laughs> but you can create an account as somebody that lives with a mental health condition, or you are a family member or caregiver of somebody that is, and it's called anonymous, inspiring, relatable air. And the album, I'll post a link for it. It's I, the company name is NAMI, and I don't see what NAMI means. But NAMI, NAMI here, is for mental yeah. that's it. I, I knew that, but I couldn't. It's a safe, community-driven space for you to anonymously find comfort, give support, and hear your feelings of how mental illness affects you. Mental illness, kind of like Mika said, it has the, those words seem so dirty. But you being depressed—that's mental illness. Yeah. It's okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, mental illness makes it sound like, well, you're one flew over the cuckoo's nest crazy. No, maybe, but um, that's personal. But it's, it's okay to feel that way. And in my journey to try to figure out how to help myself, I'm trying to help all of you guys. And so I'm not saying that any of you are going to go speak to an event next week and spread the word. Just remember some of this and just remember that if you feel these ways, you're not alone and just talk to somebody. I'm on Twitter. You can find, yeah, I didn't get to show you my Twitter, my, any of my stuff, but R Coffee, R K O F F Y. If you're on Twitter and you want to, and you want to connect with me, I'll listen. Don't hesitate. I don't, I don't tweet a lot, but if you want to reach out and you want to talk, you can reach me there. When I post my slides, you'll see my website, my email address. Hang on. Amanda? Oh, I was just going to say, so like if you guys, like Rich mentioned the W Kamal hashtag, um, you know, you can use that to, Um, yeah. But the thing is, like, if you need help with something, um, that, you know, it isn't even necessarily code related, but no. if you need help from the person, like, that, like, oh, I'm having a really bad day, blah, 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 it's WP Mom. There's a bunch of us that are watching that hashtag. Yeah. Um, myself, and then Rich, and then I think Andrew Reddick is watching it too. So if you hit that hashtag, and you're just like, oh, look, I'm having a really bad day, that pigeon that I wanted to sit in the window is not sitting in the window, and I'm not really liking it. Um, you know, or something more serious. I'm mean, joking <laughs> around, but you know, something that's just whatever. Um, hit that hashtag, and one of us will get back to you and try to, you know, either try to help you on Twitter or even just try to joke around with you, try to, you know, encourage you a little bit. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, I've struggled with depression for as long as I can remember, and I'm not young, so that's a long time. Um, I've taken medication faithfully for 15 years and I mean I'm not dead. I haven't killed myself. <laughs> um, so I guess you know it's helping but I still feel depressed. Um, I'm here Does largely. Mean, yeah, it's, like a, it's not a perfect cure. It'll no, just help you. No, no. There, I, I mean and I'll be the first to say yeah I mean I've done a lot of reading about you know antidepressants and I mean there are some new types of drugs in the pipeline but the drugs that are out there now don't help everybody um, you know just a couple comments um, one thing I, I think you know the isolation that being at a computer all day can create I mean and being a freelancer I mean is a serious 
threat to your mental health. And, you know, sometimes it's, you know, I would encourage people to reach out to one another. Um, and the other thing I'd like to say is if, if you're not a person who's up, been really depressed, it might be hard to understand this, but we can't snap out of it. I mean, sometimes you can't fake your way out of it. I mean, all the therapy in the world is not gonna help you. I mean, I firmly believe that, I mean, for some people, medication or electroconvulsive uh, therapy, ECT, you know, or there's some other modalities that are in development, like there's this thing where you sit under a big magnet, it's transcranial magnetic stimulation. That's that's in the pipeline. I mean, depression changes your brain. I mean, and and so, you know, sometimes the best thing you can do to help a person who's depressed is just to sit there and be with them and let them be depressed with you. Because a lot of people are very uncomfortable being around people who are depressed, which is understandable, but work. you know, I mean, I think like my husband, especially, he has, maybe it's more of a guy thing. Like they feel like they're supposed to be fixing it. Right. Yeah. And he can, yeah, he's we're, like, we're oh, come on, you're it's great. The macho thing, yeah. You're wonderful. And I let the lady here who's, I mean, we are, I know that was a very good statement, ma'am. Uh, and Rose ahead of me that, you know, we Kathy. are all worthy. We are all great, but it, it just, it doesn't register if you're depressed. And I do know yeah. that. Yeah, 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 I, yeah I've been yeah, having yeah, people look at and tell it me. And it never hurts to it's okay, keep yeah. saying it. Yeah. And, yeah. But just ever, it's and for people other like me people. need to keep hearing it and, and, and you don't realize it. And yeah, yeah. And it's hard. It's hard. I, it's hard. Right. And it's harder for some than others. Yeah. Well, let's finish with April play no. We got to get out there and wrap up the weekend. I just wanted to um, suggest that we not dismiss or, or minimize how helpful going to meetups on a regular basis mm -hmm. can be. Because if you make a non negotiable deal with yourself that you will go no matter what to at least one a month and you keep that commitment to yourself, those relationships will help you so much. Mm -hmm. We, we, we all have relationships here and they're varying strengths and when you see people more and more I'll be at work camp Atlanta next year and the relationship, relationships I've built this weekend, the only person I knew was Kathy relationships I've built this weekend will be there next year and it'll be even better than that. so thank you thank you for being at work camp this weekend I put on my community hat here thank you for attending this event please come to work camp next year if there's work camps in other cities that you can get to, go. They're great events and different speakers, different sessions, different themes, but it's all part of the community.